So for today's vlog, you will learn how I keep my chow chow smelly good and clean all the time. So if you want to know more, please keep on watching. Mom! Hi guys, welcome again to another vlog. It's me, Mommy Nay. Welcome, 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 welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Subscribe? Subscribe. Say hi to my dog, Cleo. Say hi to everybody. Say hi to everybody. Hi guys. Okay, so before tayo mag-start, papantay mo natin yung camera. Okay. So before tayo mag-start, comment of the week, muna tayo. Okay, so comment of the week will come from Michael Restar. Hello po. Kapag maulan po ang panahon, okay lang po ba yung tubig from gripo ang ipaligo? No need mag-init ng tubig. Okay. So, lagi ko itong nakikita sa comment section kung um, okay ba na paliguan yung ligo issue. Since um, I picked this comment kasi related siya sa ating uh, vlog for the week. Tinanong ko to sa mga trainers, the temperature of the water doesn't really matter. Most of the time, chow chows in general prefer talagang cool uh, water. Kasi nga double coated sila guys. Especially if you're residing in Manila or in a hot location, talagang most of the time, gugustuhin ng dog mo malamig yung tubig. So, not unless puppy pa talaga sila. Pwede yung warm Pero never yung hot water po talaga. Um, pero to answer this question, guys, let's focus on the time when you give a bath. It's better talaga that you give them a bath from 8 to 11 in the morning. So it's not too hot and it's not too cold din naman. Maraming reasons kung bakit mo to gagawin. Well, number one, Isipin mo yung sarili mo, marami ka pang energy kapag umaga, ba? Parang pagkagising mo pala, and all. Usually, I do it in the weekends, pero pag hindi ako masyadong busy sa work, I do it on the weekdays. So, yon. And from that, mas madadry mo siya completely within the day. Unlike kapag gabi, syempre mas cooler, hindi na mainit yung... <laughs> hindi na mainit yung hangin or something, mas, it's gonna be harder for you to dry him. So, mas matagal. So, ang tendency, baka magkasipong pa talaga yung aso mo. So, yun. So, to answer your question, Michael, um, better talaga that you focus on the time that you give your chow chow a bath. Okay, guys. So, nung nag-search ako nung sa internet or sa YouTube ng mga tips on how to keep your dog clean or your chow chow clean, marami na akong yung mga obvious naman talaga. So, yung mga isasuggest ko dito, yung mga uh, feeling ko, mas kailangan natin bigyan ng pansin. Okay, so number one. O, lalayo pa ba tayo? Sige, dun tayo agad sa discussion of giving a bath. Give them a bath at least once a week or every two weeks. Depende sa location mo. If medyo mas cooler yung place mo, every other week is fine. Para healthy din naman sa kanilang skin and coat. Uh, pero ito yung dadagdag ko na tip sa inyo para talagang mapanatiling malinis yung dog nyo. Um, I don't know if you if you watched my essentials, pero it's so important that you use a conditioner or a conditioner detangler sa inyong chow-chow. Underestimate ng mga tao or mga owners yung pagkakaroon ng matting ng ating mga dog. Usually kasi guys, yung uh, dito, yung matting, uh, cumulative um, pagtitipon niya ng mga bacteria at mga dumi. So, minsan talaga, yun yung nagkukos talaga ng medyo foul smell sa ating mga dog. At tuturoan ko kayo kung paano ko tinatanggal yun. Maliit man o malaki. Kapit mo to direkta sa kanya, sa kanila, masakit to. So, ang tendency, you get, hindi mo siya makukuhanan at all. So, how do you use this? So, I think na-discuss ko na to dun sa matting video ko. Pero, ang the easiest way for you to remove mats is during giving a bath. So, that's why i-share ko yun dito. So, after mo lagyan ng conditioner yung buhok, uh, madali mong mapupull yun. Try din tested ko na yun. And I do that every time Theo, um, Theo uh, takes a bath. So, ito, hindi ko ito ginagamit na ganyan, na dry. Kasi masakit talaga naman sa balat. So, that's why we don't use it 
um, kapag grooming time. Okay, tip number two. If you always walk your dogs, it is not enough na wino wipes mo lang yung dog mo. It is very, very important that you clean it as well. Especially kapag, um, what do you call this one? Um, especially kapag tag-ulan. Kasi syempre, mas paputik yung daan, yung mga parks. So, make sure na hinugasan mo rin to. Okay? Kasi, malaking factor yung pag-angoy nila sa post nila. Kasi syempre, lagi silang nakayapak. So, you better do that one as well. Okay, number three. Ito yung pumapasok yung importance of quality meals. Uh, mostly, 80% of the reason kung ba't may amoy ang, ang aso is because of their diet. Diet, poor diet usually causes allergies, um, reactions to the skin and the body sa poop nila. Most of the time, it could lead to foul odor. So, akala mo, akala mo parang okay lang, okay lang yung dog mo, healthy naman siya, makulit siya, okay naman yung poop niya. Pero, minsan kasi, talagang sumisingaw yun sa body nila. May tip number four. So, yun. Um, potty training is very, very important. Minsan kasi, hindi naman talaga yung dog. It's actually yung wiwi and pupu nila. Kaya, medyo bumabaho yung bahay natin. Or bumabaho sila. So, once in a while, um, if talagang hindi nyo na potty train or nasa bahay lang talaga yung chow-chow nyo or yung dog nyo, make sure na nililinis nyo yung, yung sa may private part nila. Kasi usually nagdidilaw na yun. Um, bukugasan nyo lang yun palagi. Kasi talagang nagiging source yun ng smell. Tip number five. Okay, environment. Ito, very, very, very important to. Since sinabi ko nga kanina, most of the time, eh, nakapaalang sila, at wala naman sila mga damit. Talang init na nga dito sa bansa natin. Um, yun, you have to clean your environment. You have to clean your house all the time. Para hindi sa kanila mapunta. Kasi yung mga balat ng mga yan, Yung balat ng mga yan, very, 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 very susceptible sila sa dirt, sa dust, sa lahat. Hindi pa carpet yung <laughs> guys. So, kailangan talaga na most of the time nagwawalis tayo or ako, ang lifesaver ko talaga is yung vacuum namin. As in, okay, bakit ako kayo dito? Pero, yan yung vacuum namin, wireless siya. Talagang pinikitan namin yan ni dad at binili na namin siya kasi sobrang gumaan yung buhay talaga namin in terms of cleaning uh, the house. Especially pag uh, nagsished ang chow-chow namin at oh my gosh, imaginein mo dati um, walis lang yung ginagamit ko. Siguro mga 3 times, 4 times nagwawalis ako sa bahay pero ngayon it's easier na... Kasi nga, meron na kaming vacuum. Pero ang talagang goal is yung automatic vacuum. Nakikita ko yun sa vet namin eh. So, eventually, sana magkaroon kami ng extra money para mabili na namin yun. Pero yun, kailangan po talaga eh maklean ang bahay natin. Um, I think I created already a vlog on affordable at least it here. Um, affordable na mga brands na ginagamit ko to keep our house clean and um, smelling good. Number six. So, keep your vaccinations and maintenance. Unwanted smell kasi can sometimes be caused by underlying conditions such as, yun nga, meron siyang mga katikati na hindi mo masyadong nakikita o kaya yun, may skin condition na pala. Usually talaga, yun, nag naglalabas din yun ng, <coughs> ng foul smell. Okay, given na to, tip number 7, please keep brushing your dog's teeth every other day as much as possible. Um, and this is going to be a separate vlog, pero it's very, very important that you really brush their teeth kasi malamang yun, sila kumakain. Minsan, they smell pee, they smell poop when you go outside. And malaking source to ng, um, not unwanted, ng unwanted smells. Number eight, clean your dog's ears. Ito na naman, eh, oh, mami ni, naman sa ears concerns. Pero yes, nung nagkaroon ng ear infection yung dog ko, vinlog ko rin yung experience ko about it. Um, talagang nagkaroon siya ng foul smell um, during infections. Pero yung simple wax, meron siyang smell, yung parang brown thing sa ears nila. So, make sure talaga that you keep your dog's ears clean all the time. So, number nine, brush your dog every day. Or, kung talagang sinisipag kayo, blow dry them. Okay? So, yung trainer ko, si Sir Efren, yung nagtitrain talaga siya ng mga champion line, ng mga chow-chows. 
guys, every day niya, day and night. Binabak. Binabak you. Binabak you. Chow chow. Hindi niya binabak yung chow chow. Um, ang tag dito. Um, inaano niya, binablow dry niya yung chow chow niya. Tapos, sinasabi niya sa akin kasi, um, aside from the fact na hindi talaga nagkakahimul, hindi talaga nagmamat yung chow chow niya. Aside from that, um, natatanggal ng vacuum yung mga dust and dirt. So, talagang fluffy sila, tapos malinis sila. So, yung mga simple mga langgam, lamok, talagang natatanggal with the blow dryer. Okay, tip number 10. Usapang hyper salivation or yung paglalaway nila. Okay, so ito, marami ako nakikita ng comments na mamini, parang ba ito, lagi na lang nagdudro, lagi na lang naglalawa yung chow-chow ko, laging madumi yung part na to, ano bang gagawin ko. Well, aside from the fact na yung madalas yung iba ginagawa talagang parang baby yung kanilang chow-chow na nilalagyan nila ng babe, guys. Normal talaga sa chow-chow yung medyo slob sila. As in, talagang medyo basala dito. Pero hindi yun all the time. Pero most of the time, kaya sobrang naglalawa yung mga dogs natin, hindi lang ang chow-chow, is because of anxiety and stress. So, kung napapansin mo na napapadalas yun, like talagang ano ba yan, talagang nadudulas ka na sa sahig dahil sobrang malaway sila. Um, identify yung factors around your environment. Minsan kasi, um, yun nga, anxiety and stress. So, ano ba yung nasa paligid mo? Ibang makulit na bata, baka meron siyang dental um, issues, um, hindi pa ba siya sanay na iniiwan mo siya, or maraming factors kung bakit na si stress at, at na-anxious yung mga dogs natin. So, kung medyo mapapadalas yung paglalaway niya, yun, identify nyo na yun, guys. And if not, pag feeling nyo naman parang normal naman lahat, wala naman stressors talaga, have them check. Kasi hindi rin talaga normal na sobrang naglalaway ang ating mga dogs. Uh, sign ito na may underlying condition din siya. So, there you have it, guys. Hopefully, may natutunan na naman kayo kay Mommy Nay. If you have questions or comments, please do please them below. And if you have more personal stuff na gusto nyo tayong dalawa lang may alam, please do not hesitate to email me at funnymomph at gmail.com Okay, guys? So, thank you again for watching. I'll see you again on my next vlog.